Hi guys, welcome back. This is 2300 Gaming again. Bring another King of Fighters All-Star content. So right now, they gave a new content which is the Advent Dungeon Saishu. So it's the same as Chizu, same as Mechagonis. They have their own um, things that you need to follow in order for you to clear him. Okay. So as you can see here, he's, uh, he can be destroyed by balance, attack, or defense. It's up to what's written on the top when you're starting and then when he's doing his fireballs and then he's gonna be swapping it from time to time so it's up to you to watch over that um, front of your screen and then see what he's weak at plus there's like a halo going onto his head stating what he's weak into like if it's showing fist it means that you need to attack an attack type fighter and if it's like a circle and a target that's a balance and if it's like a shield it's gonna be defense okay so you need attack, balance, and defense type fighters for this dungeon. So the thing is, you need also strikers that can be can remove burn. So my Shiranui can do that. So she's uh, no, not cannot remove. So she's you're gonna be immune to burn, and then she heals as well. So look for strikers that can heal, or can be immune to burn, or you have like stun or petrify strikers. Because the thing is. Um, and then I'm just gonna wing it, okay? So thank God that I have a really crappy RNG. So I only have Unawakened BS Orochi. That's why there's still BS. So I posted the previous video with Unawakened BS Orochi and One Star Geese destroying Victor. If you have a BS Orochi and he's not awakened, don't fret. That's why he's called BS. There's lots of BS here. I'm just using one character. That's it. Unawakened. And he's on a Leah set, but still, even without a Leah, his PG gain is really fast. He have he has hyper armor on the third skill, which will protect him against damage. So plus, if you're playing in PvP, you can juggle this enemy into the air almost forever, as you can see here. Okay, you you will you will learn how to juggle with Orochi here. So let's see, I'm just running around doing the Marokari EX. Amarokare is also applicable to this one. You can get the Marokare Super, the regular one in the epic quest. Okay? So, if you have BS Orochi and he's not awakened but you have his 3PG, well and good. Because as you can see here, he's fairly doing okay. See? Fairly doing okay. I'm just like... <laughs> so, yeah. Like I was telling you, there's like certain things to follow. On certain dungeons on certain events but the things like if you have OP units like five star awakened characters a BS character who's like really really fully equipped or awakened even though their color they're having color disadvantage or as you can see here um, Sai Shu he's not like it's looking for attack but he's not an attack type character he's a balance type character but F it F it right <laughs> He doesn't really care. Like he doesn't really care. Okay? He doesn't really care. <laughs> the that's like I'm just stating the obvious here that the BS character is still really really strong even though they're not unawakened. So I'm really thankful for my account that it's like not really overpowered so that I can share it to like free to play players as well. So if you're free to play and you have BS Orochi and you have his card, you can clear this one very easy. Okay? Very, very easy. No worries. And just put like a regular card set. Like if you have a Noah set, a, a, a weaker set, or a Mad Tea Party, it's okay. Because like he has resets on reset on S3. So cast your, like, cast your S1, S2, cast your S3. It will reset the S1 and S2. There's a chance to reset the S2. And then juggle him like almost like forever. Your Marokari will be up after that juggle. As you can see here. And then juggle him again. So yeah, usually when you do that, you do S1 or S3. Because like if you do the S3, you need to roll forward then do the S3 so that you can catch him. So this is also a training regimen for you to put in that mus muscle memory so that in PvP, once they don't ban your Orochi, you know how to juggle with Orochi and destroy the character, your opponent. Okay, so it's like win-win. So see, look at this. Then one, then two, then lightning again, then two, then super. <laughs> so that's his juggle. Hit him again, then S3, 
juggle him again. The Marakari is up. <laughs> really easy, really easy. So thank you, Netmarble, for bringing us like a little bit refreshing content that we can put in. So guys, the thing is, they're gonna be this card set. They're giving us a card set. It's just a low. Um, it's just like a Serena set, but low tier Serena set. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys later on the cards. But like, I just want to show you guys what's going on with Orochi right now. So look at this. This is just like, I know it's like a 20 minute video, but I'm just showing you the openness of Unawakened BS. And I'm gonna show you on the next video, even though you don't have Unawakened characters, even you have Unawakened characters, you can still clear this, no problem. As long as you have CC, CC meaning crowd control, or you have stun, petrify, freeze mechanic in the game so that he can easily stay put and you can pummel him to the ground okay because he's not immune to freeze burn and uh, he's not immune to freeze petrify and stun he can get stunned by your strikers okay he can get frozen by your strikers or by yourself or you can also stun them by using your stun character strikers or if you have a stun mechanic character that you're utilizing at this time okay so just like this, like rinse and repeat. So if he gets hit by the burn, guys, the burn is really painful. If you get hit by the burn, you can cast my Shiranui to get immune to that burn and then heal you up. Okay, or you can hit him as well. You can hit Saishu to remove that infernal burn that he's casting onto you. Okay, because like if you get hit, like a really critical hit, you're gonna get burned. The thing is, the good thing about this, he has hyper armor that can still protect him. So you can see the balls here. I'm just doing the Marokare so that <laughs> I'm not gonna get hit by the ball. And from there on out, like, uh, yeah, he's back. See? <laughs> so I get burned there, but it's okay. Like once I hit him, so the burn is gone. And that's it, like just, it's almost done. See, I got hit again. But I'm gonna cast my Marokare. So Mai is also healing me on the background there. It's a good thing. And then that's it. Really funny. <laughs> so if you have BS character, even though there's rules whatsoever, if you have an awakened uh, five star or whatever, you can clear this like for veteran players. This is gonna be easy. I just I'm just gonna put put in my uh, three star Mai and then she's gonna be destroying this guy. My on my <laughs> M2F no F2F <laughs> So that's it for the like troll troll uh, troll run it's only one BS unawakened Orochi you can use some of your strongest cards even without Fess you can handle it because of his hyper armor and strong PG gain so and then right now here I'm gonna be showing you even though you don't have like complete um, balance uh, defense and attack you can still clear this like technically you don't really fall you don't really need to follow it as long as you put in your strongest character who has a CC put that in mind it's much better if you have awakened characters because you can cycle through your skills and gain PG quite fast and you need CC okay very important you need CC that's why I'm using um, Kim Cap one here unawakened BJNA unawakened and Elizabeth because he has hyper armor plus she's one of my unawakened units I'm showing it to you guys free to play style okay free to play style okay and I'm gonna put in my cards free to play as well here okay so I'm gonna be showing you why as a new player you need to farm Mecha Gonits as well because Mecha Gonits is one of the advent dungeon you need to farm him I, I have a video of him so um look at my plethora of videos regarding uh, king of fighters all-star and you're, you will see how i deal with mecha gonits so the thing with this one um bjna has a cc she has hyper armor she has resets on skill one and she gains pg quite fast plus she has a core effect which makes her really really tanky okay so that's why I'm putting it here. I'm putting strikers like uh, Billy Kane just to get PG. Um, Yashiro, which you can get in the uh, 
advent dungeon like technically an advent character dungeon there you're gonna get uh, Halloween Yashiro as well if you farm really well he has a strike skill you can also put uh, strikers that can stun and he has that one uh, stun striker and as usual my Shiranui if you have a user because that makes you immune to burn and gives you heal okay again I can't really stress it out more you need um, CC characters if you have a hyper armor with a CC character that's gonna be good and that will protect you from further damage because if you get an infernal burn from Yashiro uh, from Saishu and you don't hit him back really quickly you're gonna die okay you're gonna die quick so that's the thing you need to avo avoid as much as possible so see look at this I'm not gonna put Leah I'm just gonna put a uh, regular Mr. Big set card which in you can get to Mega Gonits. It's really a good card. This is the sec like um, the third best card because the, the first uh, strongest card for defense type is the Athena set which you cannot get. It's like a cola of uh, a fest set uh, with the SS characters. Next would be your uh, Kea set. And the third would be this set, the Mr. Big set, because like it increases your defense and recovers HP if you kill an enemy and gains power when you when you kill an enemy. It's also good for time attacks, guys. Okay, there's lots of things to be had when you're doing um, Advent Dungeon, especially uh, Chizuru gives also Ignis cards, which is really good for PvP if you're starting, and it also decreases your damage in PvP as well. Secondly, you go to Mecha Gonets. You get the Mr. Big set card. It's good for PvP and everywhere as well. Time attacks and usual grind if you're using a defense type fighter. So here, uh, I'm using this one. I'm hearing about lots of good things about this one. The idol set. Because this increases strike skills. And my Mai Shiranui is a strike character. My Fest Mai, SS Mai. So I'm gonna be using her next time in uh, Guild Raid and everything else because that's very high damage, like strike skill damage, it increases the damage well. So I'm gonna put that one in Kim. Kim Cap 1 is also good in the gold dungeon, okay? He's one of the best characters that to be have in the gold dungeon. That's why I'm also putting him here. As you can see, initially my cards is the Halloween set card. Is uh, I'm, This is my gold dungeon. He's not also good for dungeons. Gold dungeons is also good for PvP. And for clearing content, because he has a CC Petrify and resets upon resets upon resets. <laughs> and I'm really happy even though my account is not that strong. At least I can show it to you guys, showcase to you guys that even an unawakened, unawakened character, you can still clear this dungeon. Okay? It's fairly easy. As long as you know what to do. So if you're starting, you can use your attack, defense, or balance. But if you don't have one, it's okay. As long as you have CC and your strikers has CC. And if you have my Shiranui, she's the best to be put here as a striker because of the immune to burn and gains health. Okay, as you can see, also put your put any any cards that you have. Like if you're a starting player and you have crappy cards, like four star cards, put it in your strikers as well. It will increase your CP and help your main character gain more CP to battle Saishu okay so I also have a tutorial for that how to gain CP uh, you can see there search 2300 gaming um, how to gain CP you will see that one as well okay <laughs> I'm just showing to you guys as a free to play because like technically I'm free to play free to play 0.5 I'm just like doing the battle pass one and like the monthly subscription that's just what I spend and then that's it just to support the, the, the community just to support the game as well so as you can see here increase damage taken from attack types and yeah decrease damage deals to other types um, she is a balance but who cares like she CC's really hard so she's really hard plus she's really pretty as well hard and pretty <laughs> that's why she's making maybe she's a freeze character because she's really hard <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> so she gains PG fairly quickly. I See, I can cast his, her 5 PG, which is a long super. Now it's up again. And then S1, then S2. So the reset on S1. And then super again. Fairly easy. If you have BGNA, you're really lucky. She's good in PvP. She's good in PvE. All of the content, she's good. She's one of the best green units to have in Immortals. Because she gives PG rate gain to all of the green fighters okay 
Because Ash, Ash, Ash the Fest, Ash is really crappy. Okay, his damage is really crap compared to this lady. And she has hyper armor, look at this. And she's really pretty as well. Pretty to look at. I'd rather not, not look at Ash. Because as you know, you know, waifu is laifu. <laughs> ah. So see, look at this one. Something is spinning around the Saishu there. It means that she, he needs to get hit by an attack type. But I don't have one. But who cares? As long as I have CC and Kim Cap 1 is cray cray. He has bleed. He has petrify. He has resets upon resets upon resets. Look at this. He's just like pummeling uh, this guy to the ground. See, look at that. Falling Phoenix Kick! Wucha! <laughs> so, if you haven't subscribed to this channel and uh, it's your first time watching this, you, uh, you're you gonna be noticing that I'm really an outgoing kind of person. So, I like to make fun of myself. And if you watch my stream, it's really funny as well. So, I hope you guys subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. And if you're liking what I'm doing and like it as well. So, just I'm putting my own flavor to my channel. So, I'm not the monotonous kind of guy. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a really, really crazy kind of guy. So, that's how you do it. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be... So, I'm using uh, Billy Kane here just to gain PG as well. So just avoid the balls as, as much as possible. Avoid the balls. So when he comes near, do your extra skills there. Do your super. And rinse and repeat. Okay? I'm just showcasing you Kim Cap 1 as well. He's good in PvP. If you have him, even though unawakened, the good thing about in PvP, everything's balanced there except real weak. Okay? So yeah, that's it. It's a long video, but like, I'm just pointing it out that you can bend the rules, okay? As long as you have, again, I can't really stress it out more. If you have CC, petrify, CC meaning petrify, stun, and freeze. Or if you have CC on your strikers as well, that would be a good benefit. And if you have healing type strikers, it's gonna be beneficial to you as well. So if you have a CC on your main character, you put a healing striker and if you have Mai, she, she doesn't only heal you, but you're immune to burns, which is really okay. Plus, if you get burn, you need to hit Saishu so that the infernal burn will be removed from you because that burn is really pain pain. So, yeah. Let's just finish this one off. So, as you know, you saw earlier, I'm just using regular cards, okay? I'm not using Leah, I'm not using Noah... I'm not using Kaya. I'm just using Mr. Big Set cards because like once you're new in the game, it will trickle down. If you just be uh, patient and grind this game, it will uh, benefit you immensely. But if you have SS and BS, it's also good. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't really awaken BS Orochi so that he can be a litmus paper in what seems to be if you have a BS or an SS character, even unawakened, their still skill set are still gonna be cray cray. Okay? As you saw earlier. So we're almost done here. Kim Cap 1 is pummeling him. And if you can see here in this last uh, shot here, I got Infernal Burn. Look at the damage. If you don't hit him now, you're gonna get screwed over. Oh, see? Oh, that's really painful. See the infernal burn? See, and once he hits you, you're dead. Try not to get hit. That's why I'm telling you guys to use hyper armor characters. Because like, even Saishu hits you, you will not feel a thing. No wanna miss a thing. No, no, you don't feel a thing, not miss a thing. <laughs> so as you can see here, yeah. Hyper armor is still really, really relevant here. So that you'll have decreased damage from that attack of Saishu, which I cleared already. So, yeah. I hope you like this video guys, uh, I'm just showing it to you guys free to play style, okay, and BS Unawakened style, so if you like what you're seeing, comment, like, comment, and subscribe, plus I'm gonna show you guys uh, the card that we're gonna be getting here, just wait for a bit, let's see, so this is the card you will be getting for Saishu, 
this is really really good when you're starting okay guys just to farm see as i was telling you ignis card uh, increase attack full attack pvp decrease damage received from an enemy uh, with super armor and hyper armor by by 50 percent which is good okay mr big set i'm pointing it out that's for mecha gonets it increases attack by 42% of death, it recovers HP by 3% and gains 3% power apart defeating an enemy. That's also good for time attack. So everything else is really good here. All of the three sets are good for beginners and veterans as well. And this Saisho card is a cheap form of a Serena set. If you don't have too much rubies and you want to tag in like in um, uh, Spider... Uh, you can use this one as well because it increases the attack of the fighter who is tagging in by 10% for 10 seconds. It's good for um, things you can tag in. Sorry about that. Sorry my voice. Uh, guild raid. If you're like doing easy or hard, you can do this one. Put this one there. And you can also put it in Mecha Spider. As long as you're tagging in, that character who's tagging in will get the buff. Okay? But the Serena set... Compared to the Serena, that's like really an OP set because it gains, uh, you gain also PG while tagging in, which is really, really good. So, I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe again. This is 2300 Gaming, and I'm out. Peace out.